Right, and we are live. Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Semi-final time in the Curry Cup. Silverware on the line in the next two weeks. And uh, two sides with a very, very good Curry Cup uh, history uh, in the Bulls. And the Chiefs go head-to-head. -head. We are down in Bloemfontein. And uh, for the first of the two semi-finals, obviously the Pumas are taking on the Sharks. We are off this Hoppers 5. But before then, uh, one of either the Cheetahs or the Bulls will be booking their place in the final. And one of these historic teams will be crashing out of the tournament. And use the word crashing out because Cheetahs have got uh, home advantage. And uh, should, you know, therefore really be, you know, back to get the job done. Also beat the Bulls a week ago. But the Bulls have obviously been quite resurgent in uh, the latter stages of the Carry Cup. And uh, really sort of came from behind. Uh, to to book that final four spot, so it was one versus four on the log, um, and yet you look at the two teams, and on, certainly on paper, the Bulls definitely have a lot more power than the Cheetahs do today. Uh, we'll start Paul here, and uh, who will win this match? And I want you to go and tell me if you think it's gonna be the Bulls or the Cheetahs. Let me know down in the comments below, and. Uh, while we're here, it's a good opportunity for you, us to uh, now, well, not announce, because we've been on our Formula 1, but uh, to share with you guys that we have started a new partnership, as you can see in that top right corner. A uh, big shout out to Bitdefender, who are now part of the channel, uh, one, of our cha uh, one of our partners moving forward, and uh, keeping ourselves very safe from any sort of internet and uh, virtual security issues. They are one of the world's leaders in uh, cyber security, and you can go and check them out. Link in the description below. Go and support them. Go and check it out. Um, a big shout out to them for helping us power the channel and it's a very messy restart and uh, the Cheetahs do have possession but the the, yeah, the ball not going to hand there from the kickoff. Bulls playing right to left with kickoff. Cheetahs now uh, inside their own 22. We're going to go through the side, sides in just a bit. Uh, we'll just wait for a bit of a break and play as uh, Vion clear goes to Vion Pinar who's in at fly half and uh, Pinar does clear but doesn't look to find touch. Goes down the middle of the park. And Khusen is chasing after Chris Smith uh, sent that high neck. Vion Pinar underneath it. Uh, brought down by Khusen, but uh, taking it pretty well. A little bit of pressure. Vion clear. Obviously, a couple of runners here. Nice big carry there from uh, Rene Bernardo. And now Vion Clear. Just taking a bit of time here before he waits for his clearance. Looking for that boss to get the base of the ruck. He can't find touch because it's just outside the 22. So uh, another tester. This time to Khusen. Khusen is going to kick and chase himself. Uh, but he's been a bit delayed. So he'll have plenty of time here. Oh dear. The charge down. was the kick from uh, Tapir Mafura. But uh, going straight into touch. So uh, getting away with that. Right. So we're going to look at the teams very quickly. So if we look at the home side. It's uh, Skull Ferreira. Minus from the move. Conrad from Fuhrer has recently just been signed a contract with the Lions. This could potentially be his last game for the Cheaters. Uh, Renia Bernardo, Victor Seguer to the captain in the, in the locks. Kylian van der Merwe, partner Siva Balo, Agoma and Friedel Olufia. Rion Kriya, Ruan Pinar as the halfback pairing. Cohen yes, but Daniel Kassin to the two weeks. The Pira Fura at full back. And then Reynard Fortain and David Britz in the center. Pretty good line up there as it goes back towards Ruan Pinar. Once again, looking for territory here are the Cheetahs. He hammers that downfield. And uh, lets that bounce does. Uh, I think it's... Uh, Oh, the yeah, charge down kick, Renner Fortain on his 50th appearance. Is he going to have the pace to get there? He is going to have the pace to get there. That's a horror moment from Jan Hussen. The Cheetahs have started perfectly. Renner Fortain, we, we just saw a, a charge down on TPM Mafura. This time, it's Jan Hussen who's charged down. Renner Fortain not giving up on the chase. The ball holding up just in the try line area, and he goes diving over. Brilliant work from him. And you can just see desperate, absolutely desperate for him to get there. He does get there. And the ball does just start, stop up just in time for him to dive over it. That is the perfect start for the Cheetahs. And in terms of the players playing for Bulls, well, there's a bit of time here as well. So by the, the, the bench for the Cheetahs are Lou. I found the best days in Ella Luto. It's like Queenie, Henkes from Vake, jean Rudolph, George Cornier, Daniel Martin, Zivardi Borshaw, Robert Everson. Then for the Bulls, it is... Yeah, bless me, sorry. It is Chaos Dinner Cup. Jan Kobola, Mornay Smith in the front row. Then Ruin for Mark, Ruin Nokia. This is the lock pairing. Marcel Gutsia, Nizam Khan, Alric Lowe 
are the loose forwards. Keegan Johannes, Will Partner, Chris Smith in the halfback pairing. David Creel, Cornel Hendricks on the wings. Harold Paul Stedman, Hans in the centers. Jan Hursen at full back. Off the bench, it'll be Jan Hendrik Vessel, St. Pierre Mantenzima, Francois Kopa, Jan Kosonopo, W.J. Steenkamp, Bernard van der Linde, Simon Gile, Navuka, and Wandersile Similani. So, uh, yeah, very much a, a URC side uh, from the Bulls. But it's the Cheetahs, in fact, who get the first try in the day. And uh, Ruan Pino does add the extras as well. Right, so we're into some of the comments earlier. So from Wild Lefts again, good luck, Bulls. Orchid saying, come on, Bulls, let's give them hockey horns today. Is this match on TV in Ireland? Uh, I don't believe it is. So I think that we uh, the best option is to get a VPN and to watch it on uh, Flow Rugby. So if you're looking to watch the game, check out the uh, the description. Um, Orchid then saying, Chris needs to pull his socks up next season. We have Trevor Inman, that is an excellent fullback that's going to put a good weapon for the Bulls. And uh, once again, the Chiefs is going to the boot immediately from the kickoff. Kicking game will be on course, and he's going to chase his own kick as well. He's been taken out though, and there's been a penalty. Kevin van der can't uh, believe it. He believed it didn't chase the lane, but Kursen definitely needs taken out. The question is, did, was there a change in lane, or did he just sort of happen to run into him? Right, decision time here for the Bulls. I think they're going to go for poles here. All right, let's have a look. So he's running, he's running, he's off, he's off, he's off. Well, I think it's almost a bit harsh from Kevin van der Merwe. He's got his back turned and is running back. We have to look at the other angle to see if he if he changed lanes and if he uh, had a look at uh, where Chris was going and then decided to put himself in that path. And this she does look a bit harsh, I must admit. But uh, yeah, of course, that's called for his kicking tees. So he's going to go for poles here. Kicking at 82%. In his Curry Cup career. By saying Pinot's my favorite rugby player. What a bad favorite to have. We're on Pinot. Will be retiring at the end of this year. So into his last sort of few games really. In his own car. Yeah, of course, I'm missing that, uh, that penalty, by the way. So I was trying to make sure that it was, if it was something wasn't working. And uh, a little bit of a pressure there coming from on uh, against Rena Fortain. Mafura and I went to get away from it. Looks like a bit of a high tackle. It is a high tackle, so we'll go back for the penalty. So not a particularly good start here from the Bulls. They've... Um, Missed the opportunity for the three points there from Kherson. Now it's a high tackle coming from the Zam car. Decent kick actually from Ron Pinos. So she is not in Star Bulls territory. Even Vest stays in. That's a good line to accept. I think it's obstruction. It's obstruction. So they've been penalized here. Isn't really Janet Wayne during the Cheetahs uh, where we need Bernard to have uh, obstructed. I'm seeing the Cheetahs have actually got the names in the back of their shirts yet. But it's not something we see very often uh, in Sack Cheetahs. We saw the Sharks doing it for a while and then sort of stopped. But she doesn't try to go with that, but they have to see the penalty with it. So Christopher's going to kick touch. No, that's not a bad kick either. It gets up to about just, I think it's just inside the 22 from the looks of it. Right, so, um, she says, go Bulls, we're going to all the way with Stephen. Keep doing legend things. Thank you so much. Really hope you enjoyed your, your stream yesterday. Uh, I think we all did, which is very cool. Uh, Orchid saying, I agree. Yako's going to bring uh, a, a different dynamic to the number 10 jersey. 
Uh, yeah, David said, looking forward to Jakob Pannevald joining the Bulls next season. I'm not. He's my player. Give him back to the Lions. Decent line out. Uh, Kobola finding his mark. And, oh, well, it's a very good uh, line. Run by his own car. Gets away and Stemmer cuts. Stemmer cuts on the inside as well. Uh, Twin the five meters and a penalty for. Oh, that will blow the whistle. It could be a yellow card for uh, something cynical here. Yeah? And I think it is the yellow card. Yeah, it's difficult to argue that, to be honest. I mean, the Bulls were running rampant. There was a brilliant little offload for Forster to Zen Karp. And then a really good line being run by Stephen Hans. And the Cheetahs go down to 14. Uh, I think it was Conrad from Fury in there, actually, who... Uh, a, bit of a, a bit of a variation from the tap and go. They go to David Kuhl. Oh, they knocked the ball on, actually. So turn over boy, yeah? Almost diving on in the ground. It has been turned over from the Cheetahs. So that's a massive mistake. Well, that's the only thing really from the from the Bulls. And Andrew and Pino under a bit of pressure. It's quite a low kick in. And uh, will bounce just in front and go out and touch. Really good kick under pressure there from Ruan Pino. Yeah, it is Conor from Fear and the new Lions are tight head. Who has been sin binned. You will spend the next 10 minutes in the bin. But uh, Bulls at, this, at that stage not able to capitalize on the pressure and uh, it'll be turned over boy here. Well, Bulls have got it, but they're way back outside the 22. Here we've got Albert Lowe, brings it down to Keegan Johannes, pretty flat there from Smith going to um, Marcel Garcia as captain. The number six jersey, now Keegan Johannes looking at a quick boy here, going to uh, Ruan from Mark. Who fell wrong then, I think it's going to be a penalty for the Cheetahs, or penalty for the Bulls for not releasing it. It's almost a bit harsh. I wanted to say it quickly there to Albert Lowe, Keegan Johannes saying absolutely not. This is right in front of the pole, so you of course will once again have a go here. Devin J said saying, uh, a line to try and get Tian Skuman. He needs a new club. A shame they lost Tian Skuman, though. That's a big shame. Eh. I think he just wasn't really the same, was he? He sort of post code after that injury. It's a nice play on his day, but. Um, I don't think we missed a nap much, to be perfectly honest. Not that we really in the not, not not that we can afford to be picky when it comes to any any players that uh, want to come to the union. Right in front of the pole, Mian Kurtz keeps his head down. No issues at all. That goes sailing over. Seven points to three on the eleven minute mark. Mian Kurtz gets his account open for the day. Mine's please keep voting in the poll. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap that up in about five minutes as we get to the fifteen minute mark. Uh, let's see if we can get that poll up to uh, 100 votes. We've got 184 people watching. Please do smash like on the video, by the way. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Uh, we've uh, passed 71,000 subscribers. So, uh, and 27 subscribers. 27,000 subscribers. The next one is going to be 28,000 subscribers. We're going to try and see if we can get to 30,000 subscribers for the World Cup. We're on Pinot getting us back underway. Going down the left-hand side. Right to the sun there. And uh, now we're close. Good take from him. Uh, remember, it wasn't supposed to play this week uh, after that red card last week, but it was rescinded, and he, as a result, he is available and has been selected by Jake White. So he takes it into collision there. Keegan Yana's taking a while to get the ball to the back of the ruck and then try and find his clearance. And that's not a dreadful one at all. Looks uh, not like a bad crowd, actually, in a tourist stadium. Looks like they've closed the top uh, tiers, which is a good thing to do, and try to pack everybody down the bottom. It looks pretty full. What's well, a very messy round. Jan Kobolo has dropped it on the take, and then the Zam Cars knocks it forward, and eventually it's come away to Marcel could see it, but about four lock ons in the bullet to that. We're going to have our first scrum, which means that she's going to have to make a replacement here because they've lost their tight head. Conrad from Fury and currently sitting in the naughty chair. And uh, as a result, they're going to have to bring on Henkers van Bake. So we'll be interested to see who they uh, look to sacrifice here, the cheaters. Uh, it looks like Hilly van Merva who's given way. So they can put on Henkers van Veg. Jack White lock, looks on. Bit of a steely uh, edge to his look.
and how it's for me there. Not too much, uh, not particularly complicated. <laughs> I mean, you see like the box set up and they've all got the laptops and they've got the screen and stuff like that. And Harvey's pretty sitting with a notebook. There's nothing else on that desk. Absolutely nothing else. Just shows you the different approaches out there. Harvey's free apparently not one uh, to, to go about the te technological uh, side of things. Never reset scrum, yeah. Chantal reckons the Bulls are going to win by with two points. Oh, at the moment, the, the lead for the Cheetah, that four and 30 minute mark. But a reminder, the Cheetahs are down to uh, a 14 men uh, for another five minutes. Front row weights here 329 kgs for the Cheetahs, 334 for the Bulls. We will be live for this game, obviously, as well afterwards um, for the Cheetahs versus. I'm not cheaters, the Pumas rather, versus the Sharks. That game kicking off at uh, half past five. Right, now you're on Pino lifting it high in the air into that sunshine as well. That's a brilliant take as well from Cohen Yasper. So they've regained it, had the cheaters, but the balls come out the back and rolled into the, into the touch. So it'll be a Bulls line out. That's Puma Furrow saying that there was a, a hand in there from the Bulls. It's a good uh, take there from René Bernardo. It's a good brand as well for Rana Pate. More of the points. She's are holding on to possession. Hickens from Bank is driven back because he tackled initially. A very good hit on his own car, but then you are not coming and helping out there. Bernardo once again doing a lot of carrying as we once would imagine from the number four. Clear going to Ruan Pinar. Pinar going to. Uh, that's right up for Taylor. I think he's going to David Britson in the angle. So I carry from him as well. She's looking to keep ball in hand. Jen now to after Bernardo. But he gets away to uh, Pinar. Scott Ferreira, the veteran. Not on the left hand side there. See a ball. Oh, getting away from one. Cohen Jasper's got the outside. Puts it to the boot. Oh, it has been fumbled forward. I think it is by Chris Smith. Or Jan Hussen. I think it's Jan Hussen judging by that strap knee. So it'll be a knock on. On the 22, really good option there from uh, Cohen Yasmin. You didn't have the pace to get around them and uh, just decided to drop the ball to the boot and it bounced out right in front of uh, Jan Kursen, who couldn't hold on to it. Pretty good strum there, and uh, the Cheetahs are attacking into the 22 here. A bit of step in there from Cohen Yasmin, making a meter or two. Penalty advantage there for the Cheetahs as well. Orma has hit well on the tackle, though. I would low game nice and quickly around Korea, just taking his time here. Yeah, now going to Friedel Olufia. Skull Ferreira. Now Rene Bernardo. So, making progress here are the Cheetahs. We'll kick him behind, and Johan Kursen is there just to run on the touch. They'll go back for the penalty. Really, really good work this from uh, the Cheetahs. I mean, since they had that yellow card, they've managed the game so well. They've just kept ball in hand. They've kept themselves in good positions as well. I think Ruan Pinar is uh, going to think about uh, going for the, the corner here, given how close it is. It might have a go at the at poles, to be fair. But uh, they are going to go to the corner.
And a good take from Bernardo. Cheaters with five meters out, chap. He gets back to Louis from the best days then. It's a good part of the game, yes, but they're only more. Back off the side there. It's a very nice carry as well. Cheaters with just two meters out. Penalty advantage as well. Clear goes back to Ruan Pinar. A lot of space here. What can they cook up here? Tifuma Pura wants to go himself. Puts the kick in behind. It'll go towards the side, and uh, Al Forster will fumble it as he's about to pick it up. But they have a penalty advantage. They're going to go back and have another go. Once again, go to the corner yard. The Pumas looking to try and, I mean, she's trying to keep the pressure on you. And once again, they're going to manage this to get a card perfectly. Yeah, back on. So here comes Kia from the Merva as well as Conrad from Furin. Hankers from Vague will return to the Pine. Oh, they got a goal at the back of the line, and they've actually lost it. Ruan for Mark's come away with it. So the Bulls will turn it over this time. A bit of try line for you from both teams. And that'll be very frustrating for Harvey's free. And it's a pretty good clearance as well. Pima Fur takes it, but it's halfway between the 22 and the 10 meter long. So it's a brilliant clearance, in fact, coming from Keegan Johannes. Nice little young scrum off. Well, at the top from uh, Dupin of Estazen, but uh, falling back to see the side, Kenneth Van der Merve comes away with it. Mark's got Sia, though, over the ball very quickly. Penalty advantage, though, because there was no release things from Ruin for Mark. Yeah, so Mark's got Sia was uh, free to play him, but uh, Ruin for Mark didn't roll away, so that was the issue there. Right, so we want Pino's going to go for points here. Try and keep that uh, scoreboard ticking over, which is the right decision, I think. There's obviously playoff rugby, semi-final rugby here in the Curry Cup. At Super Rugby Finals yesterday, I think yesterday and today as well. So that Super Rugby Final will be um, next weekend. And, uh, I mean, the Crusaders yesterday just put on an absolute masterclass. And then today, the Chiefs speech in the Brahmins. 90.6 wasn't as... Uh, as uh, um, convincing as the, as the Sayers match yesterday, which I think was about a 40-point margin, um, winning 52-15. But, yeah, it should be quite a, quite a cool uh, final next weekend. And uh, now you wait to see who will be the Curry Cup final. And uh, Ruan Pino sending that over. So re-establishing that seven-point lead uh, just after the 21-minute mark. Right, Chris Smith going down that left hand side, going pretty deep as well. Big carry here coming from Friedel Ophir, the big number eight. And that's a brilliant kick, an absolutely brilliant clearance coming from Rian Kriya. He's fine touch. I mean, that's halfway between the 10 and the, the, the halfway line of the Bulls. 
So just past the halfway line, back in Bulls territory, brilliant, brilliant clear. Really good game management so far from the Cheetahs in the in the early stages here of the game. Right, so some comments, shall we? Uh, Chantal saying it's really sad that Orange uh, and Moody aren't playing because these two are making magic 100%. Who's your favorite eight between Alric Lowe and Ruiz? I don't know, actually. I think probably Alric Lowe, I think it's probably the more well-rounded player. Even Ruiz is probably more X-Factor. Um... Taking a while for him to get back from, to, to the thick of things after the injury, Evan Ruiz, but uh, I was watching him train in the box squad. It's a pretty good looking running more here coming from the Bulls as uh, Jan Krob lost control of things at the back. Now it does go down. Penalty advantage and penalty as well. Keegan Johannes was off, by the way, but he's going to have to come back. And uh, interesting to see what, they, what, this, what the decision over here will be. I reckon they could probably go for Pauls here. I mean, it's a pretty, pretty good position. And uh, the master says that when he points to the corner, he says, oh, well, we need to start uh, getting some tries going here. Nico Becker is supporting the Cheetahs. Let me know if you are as well, or you're supporting the, the Bulls, where you're at. And uh, yeah, keep, uh, keep, keep, keep subscribing, by the way. I'm seeing that subscriber button uh, tick over nicely. It would be quite cool if we can get to uh, 28,000 by the end of the Curry Cup final. And uh, hopefully you can get up to 30, 31, 32,000 maybe before the World Cup. Um, who knows? Anything is possible. Pretty good kick here from Chris Smith, and he's put the balls right on the... Oh, hey, Chris Smith, come on. I think that's tactical, by the way. That's very interesting. So Conrad from Furian has been hooked. As a Lions fan, that's a bit worrying to see um, your, your your new signing hooked in the Cup semi-final after 24 minutes of which 10 of them he spent in the Sinbin. So he effectively played 14 minutes of the game. It's a very strange decision from Harvey Furian. But uh, the Bulls looking pretty good from this rolling more, yeah. But still battling to move forward. Starting to break apart now. Is, is this ball going to come out? It is available. They're kicking your hands. What's going on the blind side? Oh, cheap as me. He's been absolutely hammered. By Daniel Cassender. Jan Krobler now uh, back on the inside. Making a few yards. Good carry for him. The, the, the field's starting to chop up a little bit. Kicking Johannes. Ruining it for Mark. Hit hard in the tackle by Sivabalo Roma. Now Johannes going to Nizam Carr. Nizam Carr tripping over uh, Kigan Johannes actually. And uh, very slow ball here for the Bulls. It is eventually available for Johannes. He goes to Marcel Kutsia. Making a meter or two as well. Slow ball once again, you have for Keegan Johannes. Popping up to Ruan Nokia. Played a lot of rugby this season as Ruan Nokia. Keegan Johannes popping it up as uh, Kira Stelikan comes around the corner. Very good defense, this from the Cheetahs, must be said. The Bulls aren't really finding any uh, any uh, progression, but uh, Kenny Murphy then going off his feet at the breakdown and gets penalized. So this will be an opportunity for the Bulls to kick to the corner and uh, probably start to set up another rolling more. I should probably move the yellow card, shouldn't I? There we go. Yeah, so Kenny Van Merwe, penalized penalised for uh, not supporting his body weight at the breakdown. So as, 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 as thought, Bulls have just tipped this out to the corner. They're going to have another go here. A lot of pressure on the Chiefs, but so far the, the defence is holding firm. 14 minutes to go until half time. Penalty advantage here once again. Once again, this defense on the shooters is really, really good. But that's a very good, good big drive from Kassir. Kiki has penalty advantage here. They do go to uh, Chris Smith. Chris Smith down to the top. Steve Alcantara's there. I think Steve Alcantara's got it. They're going to have to have a check. Harold Forster and Steve Alcantara's both going over. I think they're both going to try and claim it. Could have been a knock on here. Could be a try. If nothing else, we'll go back for the penalty advantage. But a bit of variation that Chris Smith just 
stab you in behind for a couple of chases to run after it. Didn't see that you're going to need some sort of variation, variation to try and get past this bull's I mean, the shield's defense, which has been very good. Right, so you've got uh, Harold Forster hit. Oh, oh dear. I think they've impeded each other. Yeah, I think Harold Forster has knocked this forward. Right, let's see. He comes off Harold Forster. And then off Seven Hans. Then Seven Hans is pressure, but I think it's going to be a knock on from Harold Forster, and they're going to get back for the penalty. That uh, does not look like a try to me. Right, no, I didn't. Are going to go kick for touch once again? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Interesting, because the Bulls are obviously a team that, that really like to, to tap and go, but uh, that does not seem to be the plan here. You could take Maroon or okay, Once again, the running wall is set, making a bit of a few meters here. I'm now going very lateral with a big kind of shot coming to the cheese. Jan Kobler breaks away. He's driven back as well. Goodness me, this is, I mean, the defense here from the Chiefs, if they can get away out of this without seeing a try, this would be one of the best defensive passes I've seen in a while. Yeah, this now goes to Rino Kier. Well, guess what? He's knocked it off forward. And Rian Kier is going to hammer that downfield. And it's going to bounce towards touch as well. That is absolutely brilliant from Rian Kier. And that is sensational defense from the Cheetahs. That is relentless. Absolutely relentless. Just refused to budge. Repelled mall after mall. Carry after carry. Ruin or cure there, just didn't have the ball in his hands really by the time he got to the contact. And then Ruan Kier coming with it, and under a lot of pressure, this decides to go to the boot and just tries to kick it as far as he possibly can, and it's bounced perfectly into touch. And the ball's all the way back to the halfway line, with 12 minutes to go in the first half of the first semi final of the 2023 Carry Cup. So Jan Kobler will feed it back in the Bulls' territory. I mean, that's a brilliant kick from Ruan Kier. And uh, Bulls going to the boot there, and she's doing very well to uh, retain it. Now they're running through the hands here. And Brits eventually decides to go to the boot on the right hand side. Johanna Corson getting across there. He kicks it high, pretty pretty far down the centre. So it'll be a pretty uh, young test here from a Peru. Now, what does he want him to do? He sees a bit of space down that right hand side. That has gone pretty central. Chris Smith now. Down the left hand side now. And stone back inside by Ryan Clear to Ruan Pino. Ruan Pino spots a bit of space on the left hand side. Looking at that pitch 22. I'll tell you what, oh, the bounce has been very, very high there for Cornel Hendricks. Jan Kursen under a bit of pressure. Jan Kursen getting up past one. Brought down by Kenny van der Decent carry there from Jan Kursen. He's on car there, presenting the ball well as well. Good work from the number seven, but a big counter about coming from the Bulls. Or on the Bulls, rather. Keegan Johannes now. Ruan Lockyer to Chris Smith. Pop it up to Marcel could see a good continuity to this from the Bulls. And that's turned over. Pen penalty for the Cheetahs, actually. So, uh, 
I think it's clear from the Nova who's actually gotten over that. That's really good work. And this is going to be kickable as well. So they're going to be able to try and open up a 10-point gap here if they go for points. Here comes Vake, the big man. So as we have a break, as I said, uh, as I mentioned earlier, we've got a new channel partner. Big shout out to Bitdefender who have joined the Forever Sports team. Um, uh, they are one of the world leaders in cybersecurity. And trust me, that's not something you want to make, mess around with. You know, there's far too many scams at the moment. People being cleaned up and um, and hacked for various, using social media and, and being cleaned up for literally, literally millions of rands and stuff like that. So if you want to get yourself the, one, of the, one of the best antivirus and cybersecurity solutions out there, then you can go and check out Bitdefender. Put the link in the comments as well as the link in the description. Um, please do go support them because they're supporting us and uh, their support is going to let us do lots of cool things and make our coverage for you that little bit better. So uh, please go and show your support by Bitdefender. Go and get, go and check them out. Uh, I said link in the chat and in the description. And um, yeah, big shout out to them for... for, for uh, Joining the channel, they are uh, sponsoring our famous um, Formula One, uh, famous motorsports sort of sections over the weekend, and uh, will be a constant channel partner moving forward. So a very big shout out to them coming on board, and really cool to be working with such a big brand. And uh, what's also really cool is that the conversion of ten from Miran Pinar, which has sailed over the top, Cheetahs moving to thirteen points to three. The 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 local Free State faithful are, are really enjoying this. And on the left hand side there, good take there from uh, Rene Bernardo. And they go up there and uh, Daniel Cassander is there to compete, but it's a pretty good take from Johan Kursen. And the penalty once again for the Cheetahs. That's Friedel Ulfia that's got, I'm mean, sorry, it's not Luis van der Vestes and he's got uh, over that, or Miles van der Merve rather, uh, who's won that and uh, yeah, of course, a little bit isolated. Ron Pino now looking for that banana kick there, finding touch inside the 22. Really good work from him. Cheetahs, all the momentum. Bulls can't really get into the game at the moment. Like there, just falling in the wrong place. Morris on the move very quickly over there. Rene Bernardo as well, winning that penalty. And uh, I mean, the Bulls can barely get themselves into Cheetahs half in the, in the last sort of five minutes after they were parked there. And Cheetahs did very well to absorb all the pressure and withstand it. And now that they've done that, the Cheetahs are now uh, surging forward and looking to try and add to their first try. With seven minutes to go. Really good take out there from uh, Renier Bernardo. Seven penalties conceded by the Cheetahs. Six from the Bulls. Uh, running more now for the Cheetahs. That's worked out pretty well. And now we've got a bit of a run going here. Minus in the middle. Goes himself. Good leg drive from him. He's a little bit isolated. But support does eventually arrive in the form of his captain, Victor Sikkete. Forte in a little bit of a hospital pass. And then he's been hard by uh, Errol Forster's opposite number. And Omer will come in at scrum half there. Oh, look at that pass. And uh, Cassandra. Cassandra seeing a bit of space. Cassandra. Getting across there, Stemann Hans eventually brings it down and Krobelov there as well. Good work at the breakdown now, clear to Koma. Strong carry from him. Quick ball here from clear. Goes to Friedel Olafia. Good tackle from him and all of low. Ruan Pinar around the back there. David Britz comes on the inside. Clear very flat pass there to Henkers from Vake. Who I think actually could be a little bit, a bit of a trouble here. Yeah. I think he might have had a head knock there. Yeah, I think we are going to stop the game. As I said, it looked like he was in trouble. But he's in a terrible position. And I think um, this is going to be an HIA. So, Conrad from Furin. We assume it wasn't an injury. I think it was a tactical substitution earlier. But he's going to have to come back on at this rate. Because I think Henkis from Vague, uh he's going to have to go off yet. Yeah. Just didn't move, didn't he, after that uh, contact with Ruan Nokia. Yeah, and you can see the uh, the ambulance is already on. I think they'll uh, get him off here. Yeah. yeah, and just dips into the tackle, and I think his head just collides with uh, Ruan Nokia. He wasn't completely out. He had the presence of mind to be able to get uh, the ball back on the ground, but he's already. He's, the good news is he's sitting up, and uh, he's sitting on the uh, on the the golf cart, and he will be driven off the field. 
So interesting. Now, if Conrad from Fury is put together to come back on. Speaking of interesting, it looks like Superior Mountain Zima has just taken off his bib. So it looks like he could be coming on here. Bit of a break and play as we wait to see who will replace Angus Van Vake. Yeah, Conor Fury does come back on. Uh, Ghost, if you look at the watch the match, check out the description. Uh, it is not available on a free-to-air broadcaster, but you can get a seven-day free trial on Flow Rugby. So, uh, yeah, you can go and use a VPN. Um, you go download Space VPN, you connect to an America server, you then go get Flow Rugby, you can get a free trial for a week, which will be able to watch this game, as well as the final next weekend. Uh, that is the easiest way to, uh, um, to watch all the action. Orchid saying Bulls are going to be a different animal in the second half. And Kuba says, cheers, let us get the let us get this one and win it for the supporters. Well, there's been a decent crowd in there. And uh it'll be a home final, obviously, if they were to if they were to win the match. So scrum, yeah, Connor Fury needs to work hard Joe, after being a tactical player pretty early on. And Mafura, to be Mafura, over in the corner. Well, how easy was that? How easy was that? The cheers were over. The balls were really 18 points to three off the back of a decent scrum. Mafura running the perfect line. He goes over. He's been pretty good for the cheers throughout the season. And a bit of a, bit of a revelation uh, at fullback. And they just moved to the side. Yeah, Ruan Pierre, good lines. And Ruan, Ruan Pinar, yeah, just, just, just sort of shipped into the left. A couple of dummy runners. Just creating a little bit of a dart and then Tapir Mafura and Hal Forster can't complete the tackle as Mafura goes over in the corner. Bang, look, oh, look at the celebration with Daniel Cassenda. And with the conversion to come and five minutes to play, the Cheetahs currently with a 15 point lead. And Ron Pino hasn't kicked, hasn't missed a beat so far, uh, really, today. And no issues whatsoever from Ruan Pinal. He's really running back the years, isn't he? That's a brilliant kick from him. And the Cheetahs get up to 20 points to three. A 17-point lead. The question is now, can they get to half time with it? Bang. I think that 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 that, that dummy run there from Rana Porte is quite underrated. I think that's what creates a bit of a doubt in the defense. Look at what it means to Harvey Spurie. And the restart now needs to be a good one. It goes towards the Pima for the try scorer. And he takes it into uh, contact. A couple of defenders there. And Ruan Kriya should have a pretty easy opportunity here for to, to clear. In fact, he's going to give this back to Ruan Pino and ask him to do the uh, the honours. And it's not the best kick, I think, from Ruan Pino. It looked like it came off the right of his boots. And it's just gone past the 22. So, opportunity here for the Bulls. Try and hit back with three minutes to go. Bit of a variation at the lineup there as uh, the ball passed back to Marcel Katsia, goes into the 22. Now over to low. Big carry there from Jan Kovalov. And pretty decent defense from the Cheetah. I think that's part of me that's the most impressive here from the Cheetah. Not so much uh, their, their attacking output so far, but their defense has been. Uh, yeah, it's been an impenetrable wall so far. As I said, they haven't succeeded a, a, a try. Keen Johannes goes to Ruan O'Kea. Half gap opening up there, but Keen from the Merva closing it very quickly. Chris Smith now. Harold Forster, Ruan Pino getting up quickly and ripping the ball in contact as well. Knock on from uh, Harold Forster. And it will be a cheetah scrum. Two minutes to go. Just not happening at all.
And uh, yeah, if they can get through this next match to play, I should be able to get to half time with Leech of the Cheaters, and that'll be the perfect half from them. Pretty good uh, scrum there from the Bulls, actually. You're going to have a reset, yeah. Another reset chip, and it's good scrum from the the cheaters. And uh, we want Peanut side to go. That's a very intelligent kick from him. Just go, just throwing in that little sort of grab a low kick in behind the balls, and the the, uh, the hooter does go. So half time, half time, twenty points to three. Wow, I don't think anybody thought about that. That'd be the score line at uh, the start of the game. And, and for what is basically a Bulls URC side, cheaters have absolutely outclassed them in that first half. It's going to have to be a much better effort coming from the. The away side in the second half. They are to keep their curry cup ambitions alive. We'll see you guys in a little bit. As I said, during half time, maybe go and check out a bit defending, get yourselves some cyber security. They are shutting out, uh, everything down for us and making sure that we are airtight um, so that we don't lose any of our data. And you guys should be doing the same thing. Uh, so go check out a bit defender. Big shout out to them for coming in and aboard and being part of the channel. And I'll see you guys all for the second half in about 10 minutes.
Right, and we are back for the second half. Cheetahs 20 points to three. We get into the Bulls in the first semi final of the uh, Curry Cup 2023. And uh, a very big 40 minutes for the Bulls. Otherwise, their season will officially have come to an end. And it's very much an underperforming Bulls side. Question is can they turn things up in the second half? Come from behind and beat the Cheetahs who topped the log off the group stages. Cheetahs are playing right to left and receiving kickoff. And as I said, the Bulls, uh, yeah, they need to start performing, don't they? Because they had a pretty poor first half. Really impressive defense from the Cheetahs. But now, it is 40 minutes, 40 minutes of uh, do or die. Oh, look, that's a really big carry first up. So it's a nice positive start to uh, the game from them. From the Bulls here. Now, Keegan Hannes is taking his time. Timmy Mafura up underneath the kick there. It's a good to uh, carry from him. And a penalty for the Bulls for holding on. So it's a nice positive moment as well. Oh, ball over the top there from the exam cop. And the Bulls are five minutes out. Keegan Johannes. Okay, the morning Smith now. It's a strong carry from him. Bulls are just three minutes out though. Keegan Johannes going to Jan Krobler. Jan Krobler leaving the ball behind with no knock on. No, there is a knock on apparently from the referee. All right, so once again, another big opportunity for the Bulls. And they can't capitalize. The turnover ball, yeah, for the Cheetahs. Good scrum as well. Rian Pino goes to the right-hand side. Rian Pino goes to the boot. Lifts it high in the air, looking for a decent clearance. Uh, not the not his best one. Once again, kind of a sliced off the right. Bubble up. And it's a missed line out there from the Bulls. And she's winning it back. Ruan Pino, long ball out towards Cohen Jasper. Cohen Jasper bringing the after burst to Pio Mafura. Stepping back inside. Going to Ruan Pino. Not too much option. So Marius van der Merwe decides he's going to go to Sal. Gets away from one. Gets away from another. Actually, to really carry from Marius van der Merwe. Now David Britz. Good work from the Cheers. They get themselves into the Bulls territory. Uh, working down the left hand side, it's Puma Furo once again. A couple of steps inside, eventually does straighten. And a penalty for the Cheetahs for not supporting the body weight. It's against Keegan Johannes.
Well, it's painted for the Chiefs. It's interesting to see what they do here. I think they are going to go for the points. It would make sense to go for the points. Yeah, yeah. New Orleans does it. It's kicking T out. And uh, welcome, Christo, to the Premier Sports Members Club. I think joining at halftime there. Appreciate the support there. Jan said the Cheers seem to do well in the Curry Cup and then mess up in the Challenge Cup. Angela saying, do you think the Cheers have a chance in the Challenge Cup? Mm, I think they need obviously a lot more players. And uh, I don't know how they're going to do it because they need to uh, add to the roster and the budget. But it's another really good kick from Ruan Pino. I mean, for example, that's something they're going to have to try and replace. They've lost Sia Masuku. There's going to be no Ruan Pino. You know, who's going to be at 10 for the, the, the Cheaters next season, for example. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, I think that's the biggest ob ob obstacle is the fact that they need to add to uh, the squad and they just don't really have the money to do it. Uh, Donnie says, I'm a bull supporter, but I really have the Cheaters win for the sake of uh, free state rugby. Fair enough. And it looks like, I think Higgins has been subbed, actually. My penalty was lost. Uh, oh, goodness me. That is absolutely dreadful. Yeah, so Fanta Linda is on for Keegan Johannes. And that's an absolutely dreadful moment as uh, the ball's gone straight through the arms of, uh, I think it's Olafia there. And he's just gifted the Bulls a scrum right inside the 222. You know, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a coach's an absolute nightmare, isn't it? You know, when you... You know, you've just you just scored some points, perfect start. You're like, cool. Now all you have to do is uh is uh just you know take the kickoff, clear it, get yourself in a good position, and start again, and you uh yeah, and you you you, you knock it on off the kickoff and all of a sudden the balls are back in the uh the danger zone. And a penalty for the Bulls as well. So uh, they'll have to go for the, the corner here, given their uh, given the, given the twenty point uh, margin. But yeah, once again, you know, it's just it's, it's so frustrating from a cheese point of view because they just scored a penalty. It was a perfect uh, start to the second half for them, and now they've conceded a, a uh, not quite conceded a penalty. Bulls all of a sudden on their doorstep, looking to try and hit back. Great take there from Ron O'Kea. Okay, no, 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 Mark Jeepers. Me, that was a pretty good carry from him. All intent there. Now, Marcel could see Bulls just outside. That's a really good tackle on him, though. Driving him back. Bulls are better for Bernard and Linda. Stephen Hans, Stephen Hans getting away from one. Good angle being run by him. Jan Kovlar now to scrum half. And Ron O'Kea okay going himself. Now for Linda to Christmas. Christmas shows and goes. Pops it to Bernard and Linda. Looking for options. Goes himself to Bernard and Linda. Bulls are two meters out. Jan Kovalov pick up and go. This is where the Chiefs defense has been so impressive, but the Bulls have got their tails up. It's a big hit coming from Victor. Sorry, Siba Wola. Oma on uh, Nizam Kar. Pick up and go from Kira Stienekamp. Not making too much progress here are the Bulls. But lots of good ball retention. And now penalty advantage for offside. Inside ball, David Creel. And uh, I think it's another Chiefs player has come down. And I think it's a head knock here. Yeah, and he's out for the count. I'm not sure who it is, but that's another big head injury. I'm still not sure who's down, but it's going to be a while until we get this game going because he looks like he's out for the counts. Another head collision in the match. Doesn't look good at all. Please do keep subscribing to the channel, by the way. I think we get about 30 subscribers so far in this service. Maybe we can get to 27,200 uh, uh, by the end of this. Do, 
And it's Carl Ferreira. He's gone off. So, uh, and Luta, the Queen, he's come back on. So, Conor has been feared. So, that's two in injured props here for, for the Cheetahs. So, one more injury to uh, any of their front rows, and it'll be down to uh, uncontested scrubs. It'll be a bit frustrating. But uh, Bulls with the penalty here. What are they going to do? It looks like they're going to look, they're looking for the, uh, the tap and go. Marcel could see a pretty strong carry from him. Chris Smith is throwing that ball out wide. Cornell Henry's popping it up. Ralph Force their way back. Yes, Devon Hunts stepping on the inside. They've got a penalty advantage. I'm surprised they haven't got back forward. Not much going on here. And the ball eventually goes down to go out. They'll go back for the penalty. Right, so the cheese hanging on here. Bulls can't seem to find their way over the try line. They've had all the opportunities here, but they just can't get it right. They can't get that final uh, that final moment. Another big, uh, really more looking at every, and Jonathan Kroppler uh, had a look. He's had a look. They're edging over, they're edging over. Are they going to go over? They are going to go over. Jan Kroppler will eventually get his try. The Bulls finally reached the defenses of the Cheetahs. The comeback has started. Could be a little bit too little, too late. Still half an hour to play, though, so plenty of rugby. And Jan Kroppler gets his 12th carry cup try as he goes over. Right, Jan Kursen now. This is a pretty important kick. This would be to make it a 13-point game, which means that two more converted tries would put the Bulls in the lead if he does nail this kick. But, uh, yeah, needs to try and make sure this uh, this fails through the middle. Pretty looking good kick. Yep, and it is over. Good kick that from uh, Jan Kursen. And she is, as you imagine, quite slow to get back to the halfway line. Just need to try and slow the game down a little bit. Make sure the Bulls don't get into uh, any, any sort of rhythm. And uh, jean de Rudolph has come on for Kim van der Merwe. George Kroenier, who will be heading over to the Sharks next season, has replaced Roma. So a couple of subs. And uh, Elisabeth Queen's Queen's first uh, attempt of a tackle is a missed one. So that's not a great moment there. And uh, Bulls are now X to the 22. Fernalinda going to Christmas, not the best part. Christmas didn't decide, he's just chipping it over towards the left hand side. Looking to put a lot of pressure on Ruan Pinar, who uh, is wrapped up by David Creel. But uh, really good work there. I think it's from uh, Cohen Jasper, uh, sorry, Daniel Cassiano to get there and add the support. She just kind of keeping hold of the ball now. Solid carry there from Ulifia. And Ruan Clear is looking to try and slow things down a little bit. Now going to the boot, lifting high in the air, Daniel Cassander chasing. And Jan Gursen, right up against the touchline, throws it back inside, but throws into the arms of Randall Fortain. So Cheetahs have uh, won the ball back. And Krul has won the ball back, though, and he even had a look at the referee to see if it was legal, and the referee said no issue whatsoever. And now Bernard van Linda going to the boot, but uh, Tipiri Mafura, I think it is, 
underneath has gotten himself to a very good position. He throws it back towards Ruan Pino. He's got plenty of time. Ruan Pino looking for distance. Goes down the center of the park. And it stands up just in front of Jan Hussen. Who's looking for touch now down the right hand side. Does find it. Amy Babtron is there. And uh, the Cheetahs will have a line out just inside the Will's territory. Not just best kick. And you can see a little bit of point there is uh, Jan Hussen. She just now just need to hold on to the ball, try and uh, go back to sort of dictating terms and making sure they're the ones controlling the game. Good line out there. And long pass up from Brits towards Cassini. He's got a bit of space. Trying to get on the outside. Creel does go on the outside of Creel. Cracks on the pace here. Inside ball to uh, Jasper. And uh, yeah, Ruan Creel trying to throw the back out uh, about the back door pass. But uh, Jasper going down and losing the ball forward. There's, a, there's an ask to say was it not uh, taken out without the ball. But to the referee having none of it. Really good pace here being shown by Daniel Cassini. Again, the outside of David Creel. See, so shows him, shows him, shows him. Bang! Look at the pace. Look at the pace. That's a very well timed tackle from Harold Forster on Cohen and Jasper. I don't think there's anything wrong with it at all. It looked dangerous. It looked dangerous. It needed a good tackle, and it came from Harold Forster. Couple of resets here. We're eventually ready to get going again. We're gonna put a little with ball in hand. And right on size 22. Look, ball's gonna try and run this year. No, the hand crossing eventually goes to the boot. Right up against the touchline. Tipu Mafura keeps it in. And he wants to go and run himself. He's very isolated to Pierre Mafura, but the support is eventually arrived. John Rudolph is there. We run Kriat pose out to Jasper. Jasper throws it back inside to Cassandra. Really good take from him, and then amongst a whole bunch of Bulls players. Quick boy here from Ruan Clear. Ruan Pinar not going to, but Bernardo goes to Sequeni. Oh, and as uh, Nizam Carr has sat down. Penalty for the Cheetahs as well. Nizam Carr looking at Rikuragi is a big hit on him. And uh, Heros Tinekan has conceded a penalty, and that should allow Cheetahs to uh, go to the points and keep that scoreboard ticking over once again. And look at this hit here from Sequeni. Bang! And his own car just sort of, yeah, you know, going straight onto his backside. And then Christina come never supporting his body weight there. Really poor from him, actually. No real excuses. So, uh, yeah, we're up here. He's going to play the, the, the three points here. It's uh, just the left hand side of the poles and about five to ten meters back uh, of the 22. So, pretty straightforward attempt from him, especially the way he's been kicking so far today. I mean, Victoria is saying slow start of the Bulls. They can do it uh, after some uh, turpentine being used. Yeah, he's kicked 79% of the season. He has Ruan Pinar, but today he's made 100%, and I don't see him missing this either. Welcome, Alan Cape. Today's members of the Fair Sports Members Club. Good to have you. Thank you for the support. And Ruan Pinar turns pretty quickly. He's nailed that once again. She has got up to 26 points to 10. That's a pretty important kick because that's made it more than a two point or two converted try game. So 16 points in it, 23 minutes left, and uh, worrying signs if you're a Bulls fan because this is looking, uh, this is not looking good for them. Yeah, right, we'll have a, well, after this game where you've got the Pumas taking on the Sharks uh, in about just over an hour's time. We'll be live for that as well. And that's taken on the air as Mafura, so it's a penalty for. Uh, 
the cheetahs and i think they're talking to as well to that, that looks like a place for me because i think that uh, that's um wj steering cup Yeah, I just did a bit of talking to you saying that's a necessary there from WJ Steen Camp. He replaced uh, Nizam Carr, who yeah, I don't think was happy after that uh, collision. As Peter Mantadima is also odd for Steen Camp. So, a penalty from the kickoff there, pretty poor from the Bulls. And uh, yeah, the more this uh, sort of just rolls over, the less likely it looks for a Bulls comeback. Like, we work here for the cheaters from the back of the line. There are not too many options there for security, so it just goes himself. And balls out. It's, it's chaos to the breakdown, and uh, the cheaters are basically coming away with it. Ruan Pino's not too many options, so he just puts it high in the air. A couple of chases after it. But the ball's allowed to bounce, and Creel's going to grab it on the bounce. Oh, no, he's going to lose it forward, and he's going to get tackled for his sins. By George Cronier as well. David Creel just couldn't really bring that down and gather Yeah, it was interesting because it was allowed to bounce and he kicked to the head. And if he managed to regather this first time, it would have been a bit of a foot race. But uh, George Cornier getting across and making a big hit. It's going to be an interesting uh, asset for the Sharks is George Cornier. Good player. Very, very good player. And the ball's come down there. Jean-Noël Rudolph is the way that it falls too. And Ruan Craig getting away to Ruan Pino. A lot of time fires out a pass towards that. Spear Mafuro wants to step back on the right hand side. Gives it back to Ruan Pino. Ruan Pino hammers this downfield. Control the game really well, Ruan Pino. Always looks like he's got a bit of extra time, doesn't he? Now David Creel goes to the boot. He's got a big boot here, and he's uh, almost turned uh, Mafuro. He wants to go back on, the, on his bicycle, but he decides to go to the boot. Looking for a pretty big kick, and it is a very good kick. I think he's found touch inside Bulls territory, so it's a perfect kick here coming from Spear Mafuro. Yeah, I said, that move to, to fullback has really suited him. Very dangerous winger, but I think, you know, he's positionally has been very good. And I think, you know, enjoys that bit of extra time when he's got the ball running from the back, being able to dictate what he wants to do with it. Oh, dear. It's a, it's a good line from the Bulls, and then they lose it forward. But a penalty... For the Bulls, I think the call's coming from the side. So five, I think, uh, taking out the jumper is the call. So a bit of a get-out-of-jail-free card there for the Bulls after they had knocked it on. Less than 20 minutes, 16 points. Can the Bulls mount a comeback? Let's actually ask the chat, shall we? Can the Bulls come back to win? Yeah, so Ruan Okia went up. And then, yeah, it's knocked out of his hand by Victor Sekikete. Right, so there we go. Let's turn the chat. We've asked the question, can they get, make a comeback? Uh, Sibong Gila Nabuka is on for Cornell Hendricks. A couple of Bulls replacements there. And uh, Nabuka is actually sort of standing in the center there of the back of this line. I'll be interested to see if they go with him as a, as a nice fresh ball carrier. But uh, Jan Krobola, ball in hand. They go to the back and uh, it goes through the hands of Alwick Low and it falls... To the cheaters, and it's a really good JP. He's still going. That's a brilliant run coming from Luke on the best days, and but he's lost the ball forward, and now the Bulls come away with it. But to WJ Stienka, who's trying to return the favor, get the Bulls back on uh, the front foot pit advantage as well for the Bulls. I think it's a knock on advantage, yeah, and they will go back for the knock on.
It's a really good carry here from uh, Rufan of Estes, and then just losing the ball forward. So it'll be a bull scrum uh, halfway, well, in the halfway, uh, well, halfway between the 10 meter and the 22, and about in the middle of the of the field uh, width wise. So uh, a lot of space left to right for the bulls to work with, but uh, need to score quite quickly because uh, they need us. Um, they're going to need to to score what two quick tries, converted tries, as well as potentially a penalty or three. Even three unconverted tries wouldn't be enough. So uh, a converted try and uh, two more unconverted tries would be enough. And they're kicking behind. It's a very strange decision. It's a dreadful decision, actually, from the Bulls. Puma Pura comes back. Dots it down. It'll be a goal line restart. I mean, you, you sit there thinking you had all the time to think of something like that. Keep the ball in hand. Right, and Albert Lope on the restart, looking to get balls back on the front foot. Yeah, penalty advantage there for the Bulls. Ball over the top towards uh, WJ Stierko. He's got a bit of space ahead of him. Cuts in the inside. Jeep is me. WJ Stierko is going all the way here. Goodness, how's oh, that for a try? That's absolutely brilliant. He's just gassed away. A couple of backline players, and he's gone over. I don't think anybody thought about that. And talk about deceptive pace. Goodness me. Well, well, well. With 16 minutes to go, the Bulls have found their try. This is a great pass here from uh, Chris Smith. Ball over the top. Daniel Castellan is off his wing. And he's backtracking. And then bang! Steps on the inside of, of Tupi Mafura as well as Daniel Castellan. He's got the pace to get away from Ruan Clear as well. He goes over. Virtually untouched. And uh, with the kick to come, this to make it a nine-point game. Yep, he does get it, does Jan Kursen. Right, 9 points, 16 minutes. Another try for the Bulls. It's to get very, very interesting. Look at that ball over the top. Daniel Cassenda coming off his line. And WJ Stegler, look at the turn of pace. I mean, it's brilliant for him. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, Chris is desperate trying to rein him in and just can't. Really impressive from the youngster. Bulls have a lifeline. We can look at the forward pass there. Guys, he's taken the... No, man, this is, this is where it gets ridiculous. I mean, they've, they've, they've had the conversion. They're about to restart. And now they're having a look at it again saying, oh, maybe it's a forward pass. I mean, come on, people. Come on, people. This gets a little bit ludicrous. Right, so we're going to look, look here. Is there a forward pass? It's all about the direction of his hands. Yeah, I think the ball does come forward out of his hands. Having said that, so uh, this could potentially be ruled out. It's all about the way the ball comes out. Looks like the ball's come out forward from his hands. So this could actually be chalked off, having said all of that. Yeah, it's been ruled out. It's been ruled out. Well, it's uh, shit pretty for WJ Stinkham because it's a brilliant opportunity. That could also be the potentially game gone because that was a huge try and an important moment. So it has been chalked off. And uh, instead, they're going to go back. I think they had a penalty advantage, though, to be fair to the Bulls. So they will go to the corner. Yeah, they do have a penalty advantage. So uh, they're going to go to the corner here with Chris Smith. But uh, back to a 16-point game. Bulls still on the front foot. Can't afford to take too long here, though.
all over the top. And it's been won back by the Cheetahs, by George Kroenier. I mean, just the, the Bulls have been so... There's just been no... Where's, they've, they've just not been clinical at the end of that day. That's been the biggest problem. You know, they've had opportunities throughout the match. They just haven't been clinical. Once again, opportunity there. And uh, they've lost it for... Well, they lost the ball, ball straight over the top of the line out. And uh, Ruan Pino did try and look to high and touch, but didn't find touch. All of a sudden, the Bulls are on, on the on the charge of David Creel. Options to the left. Elric Lowe. Into the 22. I think that's actually... Which, oh, pick up and go there from Jan Hendrik Vessels, it looks like. I think that if David Creel had uh, had uh, gone down the left hand side, I think he would have uh, could have actually created a try there. Matanzima. Oh, it's a great line being run by Stephen Khans, but he's done it straight to Ruan Pino. He's now thrown it to Timmy Mafura. So it's turned over ball. Mafura is going to kick this ahead and chase it himself. Jan Husten is getting back. Mafura has got the afterburners on, looking to try and put pressure. Ruan Pino is up there as well. And Husten has tripped and gone straight over. Putting a lot of unnecessary pressure there on the Bulls. Big counter that coming from the Cheetahs. Burn off on the limb there. Has to just keep kicking it into touch. And the Bulls are all the way back inside their own half. Once again, brilliant line being run by Stephen Kuntz. Looking for that offload. And he's just chopped it straight into the hands of Oran Pinar. And that kind of thing sums up the Bulls' day, really. Good cut up pass. Stephen Kuntz then popping up. Trying to find uh, things more like Smith. And throws it straight to Oran Pinar. Good take there from George Kinnear at the back of the line of Jeff for the Cheaters. And penalty advantage as well for them. That could be a big penalty. Korea goes to uh, Ranapote. Ranapote just drops into the left boot. Go back for the penalty. This should be kickable. If Ruan Pinar slots this, that'll be a 19-point lead with 30 minutes to go. And one would think that that would have to be enough for the Cheaters here. This is, I think, for the Bulls is going to be a big uh, factor to why they've lost this game. But also, just they just haven't been clinical. Yep, as Victor said, as, as, as expected, Victor said, care to just point to the polls and say, thank you very much. We'll chip it over the top. No need to get fancy here. Right, we asked earlier, we just had 100 votes. Can the Bulls mount a comeback? And 75% uh, of people say no. And Ruan Pino, who has 6 from 6, has a 35-meter kick to make it a 19-point game with about 11 minutes to go. So, yeah, I do think that uh, the Cheetahs right at the moment will uh, will surge into the final. They did top the log, so they'll have a home final next weekend. What a boost that'll be for uh, Free State Rugby. The question is, will they be taking on the Pumas? Or they'll be taking on the Sharks as the uh, Ruan Pino splits the poles once again. What a performance from him, I think, could definitely be in the man of the match cards. And uh, yeah, it'll be a quite a cool game next week, regardless. I mean, I think the Sharks and the Pumas both offer different tests. I think Pumas, obviously, the reigning champions, will be quite a cool final. I think the Sharks under Joey Mangala have really, really improved the season. So that could be a very cool. Uh, um, that could be a really cool uh, final as well. And Chris uh, Smith has just chipped us ahead for Ruan O'Kear. And it has come, been tossed back the side of the Bulls. Chris Smith himself is under pressure from his opposite number. But Ruan Pinar does make the tackle. And penalty for the Bulls. And they're going to have to score like two tries and two minutes type thing to try and get themselves back in this game. Um, the referee wants to have a word here with Jan Kursen. I think he might have had a couple of words for the referee. Yeah, and guess what? The penalty is about to be overturned because Jan Kursen had a word at the referee. So, as Mangila does win, you're not happy about uh, 
what how uh, Jan Kursen has been talking to him and he's decided to reverse the penalty. I don't think Jan Kors is particularly impressed with that decision. But what's supposed to do? He can't exactly have another word, can he? And uh, Ruan Pino, once again, is going to have the have a shot of goal here. And this would really well be truly the the, uh, the end of it. So discipline is the end of the day from the Bulls, both on the defense and attack and just generally. Far too many penalties, silly penalties like that, for example. And um, the Cheaters have taken their opportunities. I mean, Ruan Pino has been absolutely... I mean, he's a 7 from 7. This could be 8 from 8. He's kicked absolutely immaculately throughout the game and this is i think more probably about um about running the clock down really than anything else Looking good, looking good. I think it's going to slide to the nose. Straight down the middle once again. Ruan Pinot take a bow. What a performance has been from him. Another brilliant kick from the from the fly half. That's 8 from 8. She is 32 to the Bulls. I mean, that's not a 22 get, um, point margin. More than 3 converted tries. Call the game. Just call the game. It's done. It's finished. There's no point even kicking off here. I don't see the Bulls. I mean, Bulls not coming back from here. Not at all. And well, but it did, did fall back to the Bulls, and they have come away with it off the kickoff. But uh, and now there's a bit of the whistle, and I think there is a knock on. It will be a bull scrum. I think it was a double knock on there. Right, so eight minutes to go. The Bulls will have a scrum. And uh, this has been an absolute masterclass in the Cheetahs. The Bulls have been horrid, it must be said. They have been horrendous. But the Cheetahs have been good. They've defended really, really well. Um, they've taken their chances when, they, when they've needed. Their, their discipline's been a lot better than the Bulls. A big scrum from the Bulls, but uh, Rion Career coming away with it. And they're looking to change the point of attack. And Mafu has got a bit of space here to run. We wrapped up in the tackle very well, in fact. Now, Olafia, he's worked hard, the number eight. And for the Cheetahs, it's just about holding on to the ball, isn't it? George Cronier, I'm trying to get on the outside of Marcel Kutsia. Now, Victor Sekikete, the Cheetahs captain. He could be lifting the Curry Cup trophy next weekend. The Yankees want to pull onto the park as well for the Bulls. Big carry there from uh, Jean Rudolph, who's dumped. Tip tackle is the call. And it will be a penalty. And I'll tell you what, I think Jean-Louis Rudolph's done decided to jump into uh, on the uninjured vessels here. I'm not quite sure what's uh, transpired, but uh, a lot of blow, uh, a lot of blow blowing on the whistle, a lot of players being uh, dragged around here. Marcel Casillas just dragging people out of things. It's interesting, actually. I'll tell you what, this doesn't look particularly good for Jean-Louis Rudolph. Yeah, I'm interested to see what Amy Badger has to say. I want to hear what Tazman Dita does when he has to say. Okay, they're going to review the tackle here. Um, I don't think it's a massively... I, think it's, I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a penalty. I don't think there's anything too hectic about it. I think it's two people, you know, it's a bit of a tick tackle. I think it's a very physical collision. And I think he's, uh, he's popped up and they haven't put it down, down safely. But I don't think there's much more than that, to be honest.
Right, so here we go. So it's Jan Hendrik Vessels and Albert Lowe. And then he's just ended up and he's been, yeah, I think he's driven down. It's Jan Hendrik Vessels, which is the issue. And then he has a second go at John Le Rudolph whilst he's on the ground. I think that's what John Le Rudolph took exception to. So you see, he's kind of like, Albert Lowe is underneath, is there. And then and Andrew Vessels drives him over the shoulder of Albert Lowe, which creates a tip tackle, and he dumps him into the ground. And then there's another go here to send Andrew Vessels. I think that's what uh, John o. Rudolph wasn't particularly impressed with. And then another bit of a go. Yeah, somebody has a somebody has a shove at John Hendrik Vessels. John o. Rudolph gets up and decides, actually, I'm not happy with what you what you are doing. I'm gonna sort you out, you little IT. So penalty, they say, I reckon. Yeah, penalty in the other card. That sums up the day, I think. You know, the actual, I think the actual, um, pe the, the, the actual tackle um was was sitting at penalty and then the the the, the continued pushing by young injured vessels and then a, and then uh uh then trying to uh incite a, a reaction from jean Rudolf rudolph has been an aggravating factor and young injured vessels is going to go to the burn and that's just so silly from him Yeah, the other car for Jan Hendrik Vessels. I tell you what, this kid has got a lot of talent, but we're not really seeing it, are we? Just can't get it right at the moment. Ruan Pino has been very greedy, very greedy, and that's been brilliant. He's put the cheaters on the five meter line, balls down to 14 men for the last seven minutes. And a, a try for the cheaters here would surely book their. Spot in uh, the final next week. Oh, ball pops up though and falls back to L20. No, it's not gone there. And Avuka comes away with it. Ball over the top towards. Want to see the similarity, right? Now, what, he can, what can he conjure up? The, I mean, on for the last 10 minutes, how the mighty have fallen. Good to pass out there for Harold Forster as the ball's trying to run out to 22 here. And some more is they managed to hold him up, yes, but the Chiefs players don't have to release at all. This is going to be turnover ball. It is turnover ball. Cheetahs just can't do anything wrong right now. It's been a masterclass. Absolute masterclass by Harvey's Free's men. And the Bulls have had no answer. They've been dreadful all game, but really, it's been impressive from the Cheetahs, it must be said. Must be said, it's been impressive, but yeah, this Bulls side have got a lot of reflecting to do in the offseason about where things are going wrong, because there's a lot of things that are going wrong. Yeah, if you're new, as I said, please do smash the like on the video and subscribe to the channel. We are 24, what, 23 now? 22 people shy of 27,200 subscribers. Ruan Pinar is replaced, wrap him up in cotton wool. Don't even, don't, don't even make him train this week. Let him do whatever he needs to do because that was an absolute masterclass from the veteran. Does he yet have a curry cup in him? Another curry cup. As uh, Jan Kovala has to come in to the park. As with the with the other cart, Jan Hendrik Vessel need a front row. And uh, Albert Lowe will, will take uh, leave. And that'll be the end of the season unless he were to get a surprise Bok call up with some injuries. He's on the radar, so that's why he could be. You know, he could go on holiday, but that, that uh, still needs to uh, keep himself relatively fit. And then, yeah, we'll be live in about uh, just about 40 minutes' time for the Sharks versus Pumas at that second semi final. So, you guys can come and uh, join me there, hopefully, as well. Should be quite a cool game. Sharks playing pretty good rugby, and uh, Pumas are a very entertaining team. Free kick there from the Bulls, uh, for, for the Bulls. 
And Bernard van der Linde takes quickly and goes to uh, Chris Smith. Chris Smith looking for that cross kick, seeing a bit of space out wide. Good take there. And ball back inside. That's a dreadful ball back inside. Cohen Jasper now. Cohen Jasper throws the ball back inside. Robert Emerson to Rian Clear to Tapira Mafura. There it is. There's the game. Look at that. Look what it means to the cheaters. Look what it means to the cheaters. Christmas trying something there. Oh no, but it's uh, it's it's not going to count. Not ten is the course, so uh, pick up and go for Marcel Kutsia. Popping up to Sapir Mantanzima. It was a pretty good try actually, um, but it which didn't count. Now Bulls building from deep. Similani has lost it forward, and I think he's actually come up with a boot eventually. He's somebody that needs to decide what he wants to do in the, in the offseason because he's just, he's gone off to the Bulls and found zero game time, um, zero opportunity, and his career is now very much taken a, a step a step backwards. Some moves really work out, some don't. It is his first season, so, you know, you don't want to get too harsh, but at the end of the day, last year, he was one of the top players in the URC, um, you know, top backline players in the URC in the competition, and now he can't even get into a Bulls carry cup side. So, yeah, problems for him. And uh, Lou van der to go to the front of the line -out. Variation there. Big tackle coming from Bernard van der Linde. And a penalty for the Bulls. Not releasing there from Lou van der Westhuizen. And Chris Smith needs to hammer this downfield. It's a great kick from Chris Smith, to be fair. It is a great kick. But uh, two and a half minutes left. This is all a bit of formality at the moment. We got a short shot to the Bulls. WJ Stian Kang has brought down Yanko Swanapool. Sit hard on the tackle. George Cornelius trying to get that ball over. And it has been turned over. Brilliant. And they got the ball out. Brandon Forte goes to Brits. No, it's fact, I think it's Everson who's just come on. As the body ball short. Now it's a bit of a foot race here. Nabuka's getting back. And he's going to have to dive out. It's going to be a cheetah's line out on the five meter. Tapia Mafura wants to take it quickly. One and a half minutes left to go. Bulls all the way back inside on their own five meter. As I said, every single time they've had opportunities. Turn over ball. And uh, the cheetahs current attacks were pretty good as well. So lots, 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 and lots more to think about for the Bulls in the offseason. For the cheetahs, they're going to have a home final. They'll be back this time next week for a chance to lift that coveted Curry Cup trophy. And penalty for taking out the jumper. Minutes ago, just 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 call the just call the game here, ref. Right, so, I mean, come on, guys. I've got like 30 seconds to go here. Yeah. Let's just, you know, wheel the guy off and uh, let's crack on. Last play of the game here. It's, as I said, it's been a great performance from the Cheetahs. They'll have all the momentum going into their Curry Cup final. For the Bulls, a lot of self reflection in the offseason to decide what went wrong, both in the URC and in the Curry Cup. Takeda goes up, comes down, 40 seconds left. 
penalty advances Luke Panavestes and is just short. Ryan Clear goes to Borshoff. Borshoff puts it over behind. Oh, I don't think he's gotten there. I don't think he's gotten there. I don't think he's gotten there. They're gonna have a check, but I don't I think he's short. I mean I think he's over the line. I think he's out. They're celebrating all the cheater. The Bulls just want to leave. They just want to get back on the, in the back to Pretoria and, and start the holiday. I was gonna have a have a look here. I don't think he's uh, I don't think he's made it. But uh, I think this is gonna be. I don't think this trial is going to be uh, going to stand. Oh, he's gotten it. He has gotten it. I take everything back. He's done it. That's a brilliant shot from Borshoff. Well, I'll tell you what. That is an absolute routing all of a sudden. That's a hammering that the cheaters have just dished up to the Bulls. And... Uh, yeah, it's yeah, that's it. I'm Jake White's gonna have to account for it a lot. We're going to see what he does have to say after this performance because the, the Bulls have been absolutely hammered. There it is, the final whistle, and the conversion is good. The Cheaters are the first team into the 2023 Curry Cup final, and uh, what an absolutely brilliant performance it was from them. Uh, Bulls had no answer, had no answer. 39 points to 10. It is a 29 point hammering, and uh, the Cheaters. We'll host the Coke Cup final in a week's time. People, thank you very much for joining me. We'll see you guys in about half an hour for the next watch along. Sharks versus Pumas. Do subscribe to the channel on the way out. And I'll see you guys in, as I said, half an hour. Thank you for joining me. And